Whoa, what is this? I'm posting a Game Maker video three weeks in a row? Where's Dragonite? What have you done with him? Anyway, hello all you crazy people out there. This is, in fact, Dragonite Spam, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. So, like the last one I made about constants, this is one that's going to be relatively simple. I'm going to use this, uh, this NPC text box thing to be uh, just illustrating the point, and that's going to be dealing with the fonts. Uh, fortunately, the default font for Game Maker Studio is somewhat less bad looking than the default font for uh, Game Maker 8.1 and uh, versions before that, which would have been uh, like 10 point Arial or something. Uh, this this one actually has a little bit of weight to it. But should you want to change the font, uh, there are a couple things you can do. So I'm going to go and find the folder called uh, Fonts, and I'm going to go create font. Uh, let's go and uh, let's let's give it a name. I'm very creative, I know. Uh, we're going to go and uh, select one of whatever font you happen to have installed on your computer. Um, in my case, okay, that looks pretty bizarre. This is the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire font that I use. Okay, it took me way longer to find that in that list than it should have. But Courier New uh, is one I like to use. It's easy to read. Um, it stands out, and it's, well, it's Courier New. Well, I'm used to looking at it because I write so much code. Anyway, you can, uh, you can set a few properties. Um, you can set bold, italic. I'm going to undo both of those for now. A high quality, that doesn't really make a difference. If you if you uh, blow it up really big, you might see a difference. Uh, same with anti-aliasing. Um, that also has to do with how fonts scale and how neatly it scales. Pretty much for the most part, especially with complicated fonts like uh, uh, the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire one that I just showed, you're probably going to want anti-aliasing to be as high as possible. Size, you can, uh, you can define your size. Um, 12 is a little small, uh, I think, so I'm going to make it, how about 16? Uh, you can make it, let's see, I believe you can go up to 72, and I think anything higher than that. Yeah, 72 is the highest you can go. I'm going to go with 16 for now. Uh, texture group, default. <clears throat> if you're working with textures, you can change this, but uh, for the most part, you probably shouldn't have to. Include an asset package if... That's not what I wanted to open up. But if, you, uh, if you're using a different, fault, uh, a different font that isn't by default included on most computers, uh, maybe one of these Windows fonts and you're going to export to a mobile phone or something like that. Or maybe uh, you're, you're like me and you've, if I can find it, and, and you've installed a bunch of uh, like ridiculous things that most people probably wouldn't have on their computers. You can say include an asset package and that'll, uh, that'll make sure it's there when somebody else opens up the game and the game isn't trying to use a non-existent font. All right, once again, it took me way longer to find that in the list than it should have. So that's always good to do. I did not want to click on that. Range, 32 to 127, I'll explain in a minute. First, I'm going to go into, let's see, NPC, uh, where the text is being drawn on the screen, and I'm going to apply it. So if draw equals true, uh, you're setting the color, uh, the alignment, so left, uh, left align, center align, or right align. And we can also say draw set font. And in this case, it, it's, what is it, some... I'm the worst at naming resources that you will ever find. Uh, we're going to use that font that I defined here. And when you run the game, go up and talk to this guy. We are now using Courier New. Wonderful. If you were to go into this thing and change its properties, it's uh, like bold, italic, whatever. It would all be reflected on the screen naturally. And now getting back to the range, the range describes which uh, NZ characters that can be drawn uh, with the current with the selected font. Now I think I've talked about this before, but um, each character that you will ever see drawn on a computer screen is represented by a number. And when the computer goes to put the text on the screen or the numbers or whatever on the screen, the character's punctuation, whatever it happens to be, it goes and looks up in the font the little symbol that corresponds to that number. Uh, for example, I want to say A is 65, represented by the number 65, uh, B 66, etc. Uh, lowercase A is uh, I think 97. Anyhow, 32 to 127, uh, that pretty much encompasses all the punctuation, all the letters, lowercase, uppercase numbers uh, that you'll probably ever need. But there are some special characters that aren't represented there. For example, uh, this one here, if you're like me and you like to uh, type the word Pokemon a lot, that won't be included in this range. So if I were to go into rooms, main, and creation code where your dialogue is defined, uh, we're going to get rid of that empty line. Uh, we're going to change this to, this is an acute accented E, and we're going to tell it to print one, and we're going to save, and we're going to run, and we're going to go up and talk to you, and it doesn't show up. And that is because uh, 
the number that the acute accident to the E happens to be uh, represented by, I want to say it's like 210 or something. I don't know off the top of my head, but that is not included in this range. So if you want to fix that, we could say, let's go and uh, click on this. Your range is going to be uh, from whatever to whatever. You could say normal. That'll set it to the default 32 to 127. You could say letters, uh, which is just going to be 65 to 122 and uh, a couple of things in between. You could say, you could say digits, digits, uh, which is these, uh, these literal numbers there. Uh, ASCII is going to be pretty much everything it looks like, at least every character that's actually uh, represented by something generally. There's things like tabs and spaces and new lines that are uh, out of this range that don't obviously have any, uh, any symbol representing them. It would, pretty, it would be pretty weird if you had like an actual character show up when you hit the spacebar. But this ASCII range does encompass um, pretty much everything. You will see somewhere in here the acute accents and E is one of them. Um, so we should now be able to write, uh, this is an acute accent E without issue. Um, either if you like writing out the word Pokemon with proper formatting, or maybe if you're uh, probably more likely if you're going to translate your game into another language. Did I, uh, did I actually like confirm that? Okay, there it goes. I have no idea why it wasn't showing up before because I literally didn't do anything except remove this exclamation point. But yeah, if you want to write, say, I don't know, an Italian or French or something that has a lot of these special characters, or maybe you actually plan on using like one of these, no, 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 uh, bizarre ordinals, the degree sign, the squared, cubed, uh, copyright symbol, you can change the range and it'll encompass that. Um, anything else to do with fonts? I think I mentioned this earlier when I uh, first talked about drawing text on the screen, but you can change the color. So uh, instead of, uh, maybe instead of black, we're going to make it uh, C about red. That shouldn't be too hard to see, right? Uh, red text on white background. Black on white is best because it has high contrast, but um, purple, blue on white would also work, I think. But yeah, now the text is red. Now, yeah, that's that's how sentences work. Oops. Oh, that's right. I don't want to delete the empty line at the end of this because it'll... Uh... That is about all there is for fonts. There's not a whole lot more to say about them. If you were to go and uh, look up in the manual or something, or maybe uh, waiting for code help to show up. Come on, no. Like that, you could see a couple other options for drawing uh, text uh, using differently formatted font. You could draw it with a different color. Um, you could draw so that the text automatically wraps when you get to the end of the line. I think that's actually what I do, is it? Oh, no, I don't. Draw text X, that'll, that'll automatically add a line break uh, when you get to, say, uh, the edge of the screen with your font or something like that, if you have a really long line. Uh, color transformed. Pretty much you can scale your font, so if you want something bigger than 72, you can uh, you can just scale it through code, although be warned, that does look rather weird if you get too big. It starts to look pixelated and things. Yeah, that is fonts. I am going to get rid of that because I don't especially need it. It's very simple, but they can make your game look nice or hideous depending on how you choose to use them. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I have uploaded. I will try to actually start posting these things on like every week again, and I will see you all later.